morning. It's day 12. Sunday, July 7th. And I'm a little bit ways past Azofra this morning. It is 7.45. Nice and cool out. Although it's going to be 90 again today. It just seems to be the norm on the Camino. Um, yesterday was a really awesome day. Um, my body felt really good. Just took my time. Azofra was this tiny, sort of like quirky, very small town feel kind of place. Like, I Camino. think. Buen Camino! I think all of the um, townspeople all gathered at that restaurant where we ate, which had, I don't know, questionable food, but I feel okay today. Um, and there were little kids running everywhere, and it was just, you know, a little small kind of farming-ish town. So the region that we're walking in now, which we're actually going to be finished with today, I think Grañon is the last city in this region. Um, La Rioja is known for its wine. So it looks like another day of walking through um, all these vineyards, which is really lovely and beautiful walk. I much prefer walking out in the countryside. Um, walking in and out of the big cities is it's pretty punishing. Um, <laughs> it's overwhelming with all of the noise. You just get used to the quiet of the Camino, but then also there's so much pavement and it just always seems like getting in and out of big cities takes forever. <laughs> I love the little towns where you just walk right up to them on the Camino and there they are. Um, so I think that's what the deal is going to be today, which I'm excited about, uh, going 22 kilometers, which is about the same as yesterday, which was very manageable. Um, and then I'm going to have a little bit of a shorter day tomorrow, just going, I think, 15 to 16 um, to have kind of a little bit of a rest. I have scheduled in um, two nights in Leon, and I will be in Leon in, I think, 10 or 11 days. Um, if you're thinking of doing the Camino, I, I would first of all recommend taking more time than what the books say. 33 or 34 days is not enough. And some of the stages that are recommended are just, you're going to be miserable and you're going to suffer. Um, like the first day doing 25 kilometers up and over the entire Pyrenees I think is ridiculous. So I definitely recommend staying at Orison. And then uh, once we get into Galicia, there's another mountain range that we have to go up and over. And I think one of the days the guidebook, the Briarly Guide, recommends like 28 kilometers on a, where you're going up thousands of feet. I just, no, 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 no. Um, you know, like sure, there's some suffering in this experience and you know, there's discomfort and that's part of where the growth comes from. But also you don't have to be miserable and hurt yourself. So um, I, my plan is to arrive in Santiago in 38 days, um, which is more than a lot of people take, but it would be nice to have even more time. Um, I'm having two nights in Leon, but that's really my only like full rest day where I'm not walking at all. I have a bunch of days that are shorter than 20 kilometers, which in my mind is kind of like a rest day because then you're done by lunchtime and you have the whole rest of the day to recover. But I would say if you're planning on doing the Camino, build in some, um, some full rest days. I think it's really nice and I think you would need a minimum of 40, 40 days to really enjoy it. So, okay, see you along the way.
So I wanted to just quickly come on and just mention how kind the Spanish people are, especially to pilgrims. They're always willing to put you in the right direction if you're slightly off the trail or if you're in a big city like Logroño and you can't find the arrows, they're telling you where to go. And I would say at least 50% of the people that I pass um, who are not walking the Camino always say hi, always say buen Camino. Um, and then some of the hospitaleros at the um, hostels and places I've stayed in the restaurants they're just they're so kind and giving and generous and willing to offer their home and their culture to pilgrims from all around the world which I really appreciate and has made this experience really lovely from day to day. Okay, one of the most frustrating things <laughs> about the Camino is that when you walk all day, and you're, you're really not sitting down for a full lunch. You're really hungry for dinner and you wanna eat around six. And the problems that I've been running into are A, things don't open. They're not open at six. You have to wait till at least seven or eight, which is, I'm sorry, just too late, especially when we're getting up early and walking, so. <laughs> and then what I just discovered here in Grañon is that there's just nothing that serves food on Sundays. The supermarket's closed, so I can't even cook something in the place where I'm staying. The one restaurant that I was looking forward to that has really good reviews, the kitchen's closed because their cook is not there today. So I ended up just going to this little like breakfast coffee food cart and 
the woman was really nice to me. Um, she was like, I'm so sorry, the supermarket's closed on Sunday. So, um, you know, I only have breakfast things here, but I can give you a um, tortilla and a piece of bread, which is like kind of the last thing I want for dinner, but I need food and nothing's open, <laughs> nothing's serving food. So I said, yeah, she was very kind. Um, I had some homemade lemonade. And then I'm hoping that there's a little place up here where I can just buy an ice cream um, and just call it a night. I just, it's, it's frustrating because I didn't have a very good dinner last night and I know that I'm majorly ca calor calorie deficient, but that's just the way it is sometimes. But um, besides that fact, this town is quite lovely. I'm gonna pop over and see if I can go into this church here uh, before I walk back for evening.